been really fun to watch. Obviously, SoCal adores this man. Yeah. Uh, this is this is the original SoCal protagonist. Yeah. yeah. This is this is the SoCal. The we have future King of Smash. Yeah, the future King of Smash, man. He's a king of many, many hearts. Diddy Kong. This is his try and true main all the way from Smash 4. Wait, I thought he played Wolf. He also still has his Wolf. When did this happen? Oh. Kles has eliminated, has destroyed ZD and an upset. Another East Coast player goes down to a West Coast player. Give it up for Kles with the upset off stream, man. man. That's crazy that SoCal sucks. That's so crazy. Yeah, yeah, crazy. Where is that account? That's Where is so that account now? Yeah, 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 wait a minute. All right, so we got Chax Palutena versus K9's Diddy Kong. Yeah, he's played Diddy Kong a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, so obviously the character kind of operates a little differently than he used to. Um, still but, a top tier in my eyes. Yeah, if you still ask a very me. good character. I I don't know, man. I don't I don't know about tier lists in this game. <laughs> they're like they're more like bubbles, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's like broken and super good and really good and not good. And I don't think there's a point in trying to be like top 15, top 10 when the characters that are top 10 and 15 are both really good. Yeah, you know I, I, mean? I agree. I think they're bubbles. But anyway. Yeah, Diddy Kong's still a very strong character, and uh, so is Palutena. Despite the nerfs, Palutena's, you know, uh, she's still, still able one to get of the best. Yeah. yeah, I think she's a really well-designed character too. I don't think that like like uh, the things that make her really good aren't insanely frustrating to fight against. You know? Yeah, they're, they're just like good options. Back then, pre-patch, it kind of used to be, but now post-patch, she's kind of come together as, all right, cool. Yeah. If you're losing to Palatina, it's more of your fault that you didn't learn the matchup. Yeah, she is a bit of a gatekeeper, I will say. Yeah, like you must you, be better than Palatina to be. You, yeah, yeah, if you play a low tier, then you just have a Palatina as a secondary. It's a really good option. She'll cover your bad matchups, probably. All right, that's a good forward throw. It knows the importance of having a player and a character like K9 and Diddy Kong off the stage, yeah. and that's what you want. So you still want to have that stage control. That's a down throw, back air, no cigar here, but close enough yeah, here. Really, really that explosive flame. So far. The one thing for K9 here too is his actual practice partner and his former roommate was Jump Steady. True. And he did use Palutena. Yeah, Jump Steady as a uh, as a pretty solid Palutena, so he should be at least familiar in the matchup. And uh, ooh, that was a nice forward tilt to catch the side beam there from Chag. Really good stuff to equalize the stocks. Uh, yeah, K9 racking up a clean 43%, but Chag answering right back with uh, the two up airs. Tried to drag down with the, the second up air to get a longer conversion, but not quite working out. I've noticed one thing, K9 does not pull banana as much as the, uh, the normal Diddy Kongs. I feel like every Diddy Kong, as soon as they get a moment, oh my god, it's over. <laughs> I thought, wait. You said as soon as you oh. said, uh, if that would line up perfectly with what you said. As soon as they get a moment, it's over, because it was definitely well, over I'm there. My bad, dude. I thought k still had two stocks. I thought that was a close game. I was completely <laughs> wrong. Chag was kind of murdering him. The thing here is the way that K9 operates with Diddy Kong is he pulls out Banana in advantage. Did K9 just walk off the level at the beginning? What did I miss? I felt like I was watching the whole time. When did he die twice? I'm not going to lie. I looked at my phone for a cool minute to reply to something, and I just saw K9 get I am murdered. not the worst commentator, dude. I have absolutely no idea how K9 lost three stocks in that video but game. You know what it is? You know fine. what it is? It's fine. It, it, it's fine. Chag it's fine. wants it. Chag, 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 yeah. Chag wants it, dude. Dude, I feel so bad. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, so one thing I really noticed uh, before the game ended a stock earlier than I thought it was going to is that K9 doesn't pull banana every chance he gets. Uh, mm -hmm. Sometimes he'll win neutral, and instead of pulling the banana, he'll opt to just gain a little bit more stage control by walking you know, closer to the ledge or whatever and keeping them, giving them a little bit less space to work with. But I feel like, I feel like you should kind of pull the banana anyway because the banana accomplishes the same goal exactly but it yeah. also gives you more to work with so you you pull the banana you throw the banana it takes away their stage control and you're still not locked into to that movement of like needing to be over there yeah and i think that's what canine needs to do is look to take away that stage control and that banana is such an excellent tool just even to start that threaten that and even continue that yeah and canine hasn't had much opportunities to even pull that out but finally i speak of the devil here yeah. and you will pull one out Okay, nice. Oh, I saw K9 hopping in his chair a little bit. Oh, he he, he is not going to go down oh without a fight. Oh my god, every pummel he's bobbing his head. 
he, he, I'm telling you, S. Bruce will not go down without a fight. What a read on that landing here. Yeah, maybe more than anyone is like a momentum player. If, yes. if you give this man an inch, he will take the whole world, dude. Uh, he, it's, <laughs> it's ridiculous. And he'll start screaming. He's winning, and he's he's faring you over and over, and he's just like, ah, ah, every single time. Oh, man, he is in. K9 is in it, yeah, ladies K9, and gentlemen. Yeah, K9, K9, K9 is in it. I, I wish there was a player camp, but yeah, K9 is uh, he's wired in. He's making sure Chad has to fight for this spot. Yeah. K9 will always make you earn it. He, yeah. He will not it, ever give it you It ain't free. It ain't free. I don't think I've ever seen this man give up. He has the anime mentality he, for sure, dude. A, can, a, a fan of anime himself, dude. He's in love with One Piece and yeah, he's out this, here. This game could be 100 stocks and he'd be down 99 to 1 and he'd still just believe he's probably going to win. However, that situation is a little unfortunate yeah. and <laughs> might kill your anime momentum just a little bit. Right. Maybe that's how he died in the first game. And I just uh, yeah. <laughs> Every anime protagonist has his days, man, and this is looking like it might be one of the K9 bucks. Yeah, every anime protagonist loses, you know. They, they, they all go through some losses. Oh my gosh, yeah, Chag is just kind of dismantling it. Let's be honest, this isn't, you know, K9's not uh, at fault here. I think Chag is just playing a lot more solid at the moment. Oh, what and, a downer uh, out of shield to respond. Yeah. But that arc of coverage where it covers him for going for Banana as well. You, you can tell how hungry Chag is for this dub. Oh, yeah, this is getting rougher by the second for K9. Gets hit with the invincible back air, and that is going to yeah. seal it out. What a pose from Chag. It's tough, too, because of that situation where K9 was sent. The best option he had is either to go for the barrels, but the problem is you have to charge them. Yeah. And in that situation, Chag has time to.